What's going on guys? Ben here with Airsoft Junkies and today we're going to do a full overview of the new Specna Arms X-Shield helmets. So starting off with the helmet on my right, this right here is the Fast BJ Bump Helmet. Uh, so this one weighs in at around 1.4 pounds, so this is a very light helmet for what it is. Um, and there's a lot of cool features about this one. So starting from the front to the rear, uh, starting with the front you do have a built-in MVG mount right here that is actually injected and molded to the shell. Uh, that way if you do want to run night vision on this helmet or if you do want to put like an action camera right there, you can definitely do that. Um, and on the front, left and right side, you do get a singular bungee on each side with a C-hook on there. So if you do want to mount anything right here and you want it to be stable, you can definitely add those C-hooks on there. Uh, that way it doesn't move around a lot and it's really nice doing that. Moving to the sides, you do get two standard arc rails on each side. Um, so you do get a lot of adapters with these as well. Uh, so you will get two 19 millimeter swivel adapters, you'll get two 19 millimeter standard mounting clips, and you'll get two 35 millimeter swivel clips as well. Uh, just in case if you do want to mount your goggles or your face pro onto this helmet, you can definitely do that. And with the swivel clips, it allows whatever you're mounting to move with your face. Uh, that way it's not stationary and it's a little bit more comfortable doing that way. So moving to the rear of the helmet, you do get a nice ratchet dial system right here. Uh, so if you do have a bigger head, you might want to run this a little loose, but me, myself, I do have a small head, so I did have to run this thing pretty tight, and even when it is pretty tight, it is still very comfortable because it does have some small pads on the inside portion of the ratchet system. Um, that way it just is super comfortable. As far as patch space goes on this helmet, you do get patch space on the left and right side of this helmet, and you do get patch space along the top of the helmet as well. And on the rear of the helmet, you do get a pretty large uh, patch portion right there as well. Uh, just in case if you do want to mount uh, a counterweight pouch, uh, if you do run the, uh, any anti-fog systems, you can definitely mount those on right here as well. Uh, this helmet is uh, pretty affordable as well. Uh, this helmet is $59.99. Uh, so if you do want a nice helmet and you don't want to break the bank, this is definitely a good choice from Specna. Uh, as far as Specna as a company goes, uh, they do uh, or are starting to release a lot of new products. Uh, so they're starting to release a few snipers. They do have an L96 uh, variant. A few different versions as well. Um, they also just released a VSR 10 variant um, and they just released a Mark 18 and an AK as well and they're all pretty nice. Uh, they're also starting to move into like the airsoft necessities, basic necessities scene. Uh, so they're starting to make their own BBs. Uh, as of right now they make uh, from a 0.25 all the way up to a 0.32. Uh, they're also starting to make their own LiPo batteries, LiPo chargers. They're also starting to make um, a few helmet covers as well. Uh, so this right here, this is a Specna helmet cover. This one is in multicam and it is a mesh helmet cover. It does come with a lot of patch space on here as well and it does have built-in bungees. Uh, that way if you do need to tie anything down on your helmet, you can definitely do that. Uh, moving to the helmet on my left, this is the SHC helmet. So this is a super high cut ballistic style helmet. So as you see, there's no vents on here. This one is a little bit heavier. This one weighs in at around 2.3 pounds, uh, but it's not too heavy. Even when you do put this on your head, it's still very nice and light. Uh, but moving from the front to the rear, uh, the NVG shroud on this one is a little bit different than the other helmet. So this one is actually a separate piece, so you could unbolt this from the helmet if you did want to. Um, this one does come uh, with a CNC insert as well, so if you do run night vision or a nice camera, you might feel a little bit more comfortable running it on this helmet, uh, just because it's going to be a little bit more secure. Uh, as far as the bungees go, they are the same bungees. They just do have a different style hook on them. So this is a more of a carabiner style hook on there. That way you can get full closure on whatever you're mounting on the front of your helmet. Moving to the sides of the helmet, you do get uh, standard arc rails on each side. And you still do get all of the uh, extra clips as well. So you get both sets of the 19 millimeter swivel and standard mounting clips and the 35 millimeter swivel clips as well. Uh, like I said earlier, just in case if you do want to mount goggles or face pro onto this helmet, you can definitely do that. Moving to the rear, you do get the same style ratcheting dial system right here. Um, just like I said earlier, if you have a big head, you might not need, really need it, but if you have a smaller head, you might want to tighten this down a little bit. Um, and on the inside of the ratcheting system, you do get a pretty large uh, pad right there as well. That way it's super nice and comfortable on your head. As far as patch space on this helmet goes, on the front of the helmet, you do get a small portion on the left and right side of this helmet. And on the sides, you do get two medium sized patch spaces on each side. On the top of the helmet, you do get a pretty large portion right here as well. Um, and on the rear, you do get a large portion right here. Um, that way you can mount anything such as anti-fox systems, counterweight pouches. On the top, you could put IR strobes, you could put deadlights, patches, whatever you want to throw on here, you can definitely do that. The pads on this helmet are a little bit different compared to the uh, Fast BJ helmet. This one is a more of a mesh material and these are a little bit softer. 
Uh, so if you are in, like in a hot environment, these will breathe a little bit better. Um, and they're pretty soft. So on, on your head, there's no specific pressure points anywhere, really. Um, really kind of depends on your head shape. But uh, as far as I go, uh, I didn't really have any problems with that. As far as the chin strap goes, it is a pretty large chin strap. Um, it is a nice, soft nylon material, and the stitching is pretty nice, so you don't have to worry about this thing falling apart on you. As far as the chin portion goes, it is a nice leather material on the inside. That way, when it is against your chin, it's not going to chafe you in any way and uh, rub your skin raw, anything like that. It is pr uh, very adjustable as well, so I had to adjust this one right in front of me pretty tight, uh, and it's still very, very comfortable. Uh, this helmet does uh, range at $89.99, so it's still under that $100 mark. Um, and it's a really nice helmet for the price, so I really do recommend that. Uh, so we actually went ahead and we fully set up a SHC helmet right here in front of me. We actually went ahead and did the Specna helmet uh, cover as well um, in multicam. As you can see on the helmet cover, you do, do uh, get a lot of uh, patch space and you do also get a lot of bungees on here as well, just in case you need to tie anything down like I did here with the IR strobe. Even with the Velcro and that, it doesn't move at all. Same with the counterweight pouch. It doesn't move very much at all. Uh, with the helmet on my head under load, especially with the night vision and the camera and all that good stuff, uh, even unbuckled just with the ratcheting system, um, it doesn't move. Uh, I can move left to right. I can look down. I can look up. And it doesn't move a lot at all. And uh, when I do have it buckled in as well, um, it just makes it even more secure. I can do whatever I need to do. I can hang upside down with this and nothing's going to move and it's going to be all very comfortable. So if you guys are interested in any Specna products, you can visit our website at airsoftjunkies.com or you can come in store and visit our Specna display.